I'm Margaret. The Advanced Pull System is my favorite product of Wild Birds Unlimited, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to put together. This is a 48 inch base pull that augers into the ground. You use a screwdriver and stick it through the hole provided to use as a handle. Find an area on the ground, and you can use the screwdriver to screw the base pull into the ground. And how deep does it need to go, Margaret? One to one and a half feet. Once your base pole is in the ground, make sure it's sticking straight up. You can use a level if you'd like. You're then going to take the stabilizer and slide it over the top. If you have mulch on the bottom, it's a good idea to move the mulch out of the way. Then install the stabilizer and then put your mulch on top. You can use your feet to secure the stabilizer. and then tighten the thumb screw in the back. And the next step is to attach an extension pole onto your base pole. There's a simple snapping mechanism that allows you to separate your pieces and attach them snugly. An optional addition is a squirrel or raccoon baffle. This prevents squirrels or raccoons from being able to climb up the bottom of your pole. Included is a screw clamp that allows you to attach it onto your pole. I've taken my extension pole off to make it easier. And since you need to attach this about four and a half feet up, I'm going to attach it here about a foot and a half up. You need to make sure that the screw clamp is level to make sure the baffle functions properly. I'm going to get a small Phillips head screwdriver to do this. Once you have the screw clamp attached, you can add your baffle on top. You can then reattach your extension pole. Now you have a functioning baffle that will prevent squirrels and raccoons from climbing up the pole. Next step is a hook for the top. We also sell finials that you can add for a decorative flare. We have goldfinches, bluebirds, we also have chickadees and woodpeckers. To attach this, simply put it on top and use that same snapping mechanism to secure it in place. Now you can hang two feeders or a plant, anything you'd like. 